Hi everyone, today I'm going to try and get this UPS working again. Now for anyone that doesn't know, inside the UPS you have a battery similar to this and basically after a number of years the battery degrades, especially if you have a lot of power cuts where the battery is regularly discharged heavily, um, then they basically get destroyed over time and you have to replace them. Now this was a really cheap UPS from CDR King and this battery that I'm going to put in probably costs nearly as much as <laughs> this whole unit. I remember when these batteries used to be like 900 and now this one I think was 1100 or 1200 um, which is pretty expensive but not as bad as the Akari one which was like how much was that 1700 it's crazy you can buy a brand new UPS with the battery built in for 1700 so I don't know what the deal is with that now I don't know if I can recommend everyone to do this because there is some danger in opening this up there could be capacitors that still hold an AC charge and so on so this is more just showing you because I want to show you not necessarily because you should do it yourself now I've already undone the screws from this so I should be able to open it up and there we go inside you can see it already has a battery this one is 12 volt 6 amp hour while my new one is 12 volt 8 amp hour and this is new star which I, you know I've used their products before and they're a pretty okay brand whereas this is just some generic so hopefully this is a better battery and it is worth the extra money so I haven't actually replaced this battery before in this UPS I have done it on other UPS's but I figured that it just pulls out and then hopefully this should just slide off it might take a bit of convincing there we go, that's one. They look a little bit corroded actually. Humidity is pretty high here, so it wouldn't surprise me. Now these are pretty hefty cables, I can feel that they're pretty hefty in there. So that's the old battery, and I'll probably try and remove this padding here so I can put it on the new one. Uh, maybe not, I'll just put some sticky, double-sided sticky tape. Wow, these are really, really corroded. I might try and clean those first before I reconnect it. So I'm just going to use some sandpaper and a file to kind of try and take off some of this. Well, if you look at the positive one, it's actually in perfect condition by the looks of it. don't know how easily you can see that, but it still looks shiny and relatively good. So it's just our ground wire that has the issue. Well, I'm not 100% happy with that, but it's better than it was and hopefully it will do the job. So now this new battery is ever so slightly taller than the old one. And normally that doesn't matter because there's normally a bit of extra space inside the UPS because they know people are going to swap the batteries in the future. But with the CDR King one, they've really made it pretty much a tight fit. So this might be a little bit difficult to get in, but usually that's not a problem. Now this is a bit of a better angle. Hopefully I can get it in now. Now this ground terminal actually comes extremely close to the bottom of this heat sink. So this is actually becoming one of the most complicated UPS <laughs> repairs I've ever done because normally it's very easy to swap the battery in and out. I'm going to put some extra tape on here just to be sure. Okay, so now that terminal is safely isolated. Let's try and get this inside. This is a very tight design unlike other UPSs. There we go. It took a little bit of convincing, but I think it's a pretty secure fit. Now, when I connect this other one, we have to consider that this whole circuit is pretty much going to be working again. So we want to be a little bit careful. Now, I'm not completely happy with how close this terminal is to that heat sink either. So I'm going to add a bit more tape there. This is a really poorly designed UPS. Um, I guess because they've tried to fit it into a really small package so it looks nice but it's I don't know I don't think it's worth it personally so let's screw this thing back together so that actually took a lot longer than I expected it to take oh and I've just noticed the buttons falling off at the front that's okay it just pushes on okay so now the UPS is turned on it's not plugged into the wall so let's connect a load and see if it works okay. So I have a regular CFL light bulb here, let's plug it in and see if it works. There you go, turns on without an issue. So I can start using my UPS again. So what I'll do is I'll give this a full 24 or 48 hour charge 
and then I'll start using it again. This is the old battery. What I normally do with these is just keep them around for solar projects, even though they can't hold much of a charge. They're still okay um, for testing purposes or you know if you've really got nothing better to use. Um, and sometimes I try to put them on a smart charger and see if that can recover them. But to be honest, when they get this far, they're not really much good anymore. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to future videos. Thanks for watching.